this week's vlog. This is completely spontaneous because I've only just decided to do it. Um, but I am going to loose jump Casper. Um, he's, <laughs> you can tell you've been having your look. Look at that grumpy nose. Um, yeah, he's really not very confident going through doubles or related distances, um, especially once they go higher. He just tries to run out and he just does not have the bravery for it. So I'm gonna let him, we'll keep it probably fairly small um, and just maybe do it on two strides and just show him that he can do it. He is capable um, and it's not scary. Just without me on his back to interfere um, or add weight or whatever make him any less confident. So I'm gonna brush him off and get him out in the school and build the jumping lane. Okay, so this is what I've set up. We're lim very limited with the amount of poles I have. So I'm using my lovely poly jump poles and wings for the jump. Then just have one pole either side of each jump to try and direct him. And then the cones in the middle will hopefully just keep him going straight. Um, so I'm just gonna walk him through a couple of times. I have a pocket full of treats. Compre. Good boy. Compre. Compre. Good boy. Yeah, I have a pocket full of treats so that he learns when he's done, he can have a treat if he pays attention. Gasp, what's this? Good boy. Good boy. Coming in. Good lad. Go the other way. I'm going to set the camera up somewhere. Not sure where. I think I'm going to come down. Good boy. Um, so that I can make the second part an oxer. Um, so, and also because this bit is like technically a step up and he has thought about jumping out of there before. So don't really want to encourage that. Good boy. Here you go. Hey. Good boy. With a mouthful of grass. Right. Come on then. Let's set this up. Good boy. once they've gone up like he does the jump first time and then he doesn't use his brain to figure out that it's actually gone up so we'll see if he can work it out today on this
now at meter 10. She clears this for everyone and she'll do it twice and then that will do. That is the end of the day. So if you refuse again, I'll just put it back down. Again! <laughs> I'm never gonna work, was it? Right. Cash, get a good run up. What I was planning. Boy, go. Good lad. Oh my goodness me. Good boy. <laughs> oh, Bobby, well done. Here you go. Look at all those birds. Good boy. Right, should we try that again? Go. Brr. Go. Brr. A bit more forward this time, Cass. trotting over it you twit right I'm, I'm gonna have to put the phone down because this isn't working if you try and jump this you hit that with your head I mean honestly Super. Sorry, my dog's. My dog has its hackles up. I don't know if you can see her. Can you zoom in on face? No. What are you doing, Miz? Good girl. Um, yeah, so I'm super happy with Casper. Um, then, I mean, I was expecting him to start knocking it at 90, so for him to fly over 110 a couple of times even from a very, very steady trot, was incredible. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with him. Um, I think he's clearly much more confident going down two strides than a one stride. I think he probably thinks he doesn't have room to think and, you know, work it out. Um, so maybe I'll do three one strides, I think. I can fit down there. Um, well, two one strides, if that makes sense. So three jumps, two, both one stride, one stride apart. If that, yeah. Um, so I'll probably try that. Maybe next month, try and get him, you know, just doing a lot of jumping on his own, get him brave um, and thinking about his striding for himself a bit more um, without me interfering. Um, and then hopefully that will have him confident for when I'm riding as well. So it will work out much better for us. So yeah, really, really happy with how he went. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, it was really spontaneous, probably going to be quite short. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.